गुड आफ्टरनून माइन डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल डिजाइर टू लर्न विथ मुकेश सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेशन एंडिंग एग्जाम पेपर ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ साइंस सो हियर दिस इज द पेपर ऑफ केंद्रीय विद्यालय संगठन भुवनेश्वर रीजन सो हियर यू विल यू विल डिस्कस ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑफ सेशन एंडिंग एग्जाम पेपर ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ साइंस सो टोटल मार्क वाज ऑफ सिक्सटी एंड टाइम ड्यूरेशन वाज ऑफ टू आर थर्टी मिनट सो विदाउट लेट लेट अज डिस्कस सो जेनरल इंस्ट्रक्शंस द क्वेश्चन पेपर कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेवेंटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन इन फोर सेक्शंस ए बी सी एंड डी ऑल क्वेश्चन आर कंपलसरी हाउ एवर इंटरनल चॉइसेस आर प्रोवाइडेड इन सम क्वेश्चन सभी क्वेश्चन कंपलसरी है हालांकि कुछ क्वेश्चन के अंदर इंटरनल चॉइस भी होगा तो आप उसी चॉइस को लिख सकते हैं दोनों में से किस एक को तो हम आगे देखते जाएंगे कैसे इंटरनल चॉइस दिया जाता है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेक्शन है इट्स कैरीज ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन ईच क्वेश्चन कैरीज वन मार्क सो टोटल मार्क ट्वेल्व मल्टीपुल चॉइस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ग्रीन प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड डेस बिकॉज they can synthesize their own food so here green plants are called parasites saprophytes or autotrophs green plants are called autotrophs because they can prepare their own food then question number 2 is which gas is produced during photosynthesis hydrogen oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen so we third going to the question number 2 come to question number 1 green plants are called autotrophs because they can synthesize their own food here parasites means what parasites means the organisms which depend upon living organisms for their food they are parasites and saprophytes are those who depends upon dead organisms right and heterotrophs are those who can't prepare their own food and they depend upon green plants that means the autotrophs so we human beings are also heterotrophs all animals are also heterotrophs because they depend upon green plants some animals also depend upon other animals they are called carnivorous like tiger right so here green plants are autotrophs because they can prepare their own food okay and the process in which they prepare their own food is called photosynthesis now we will come to question number 2 so here in question number 2 the question is which gas is produced during photosynthesis which gas is produced during photosynthesis here options are hydrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen so answer will be oxygen oxygen is produced during photosynthesis carbon dioxide is used during photosynthesis oxygen is produced during photosynthesis then question number 3 the food synthesized by the green plants is stored in the form of starch the answer will be starch water from the undigested food is absorbed mainly in the large intense time amino acid is the product of digestion of which food component your answer will be protein bile is produced by the dash and stored in the dash respectively bile is produced by liver and stored in gall bladder so option a will be the correct answer during heavy exercise we get cramps in the legs due to the accumulation of lactic acid the normal range of breathing rate per minute of an average adult person at rest is 15 to 18 in which organism exchange of gas takes place through gills as it will be fish because fish lives in you know water and gills use them to exchange the gases in plants water is transported through xylem xylem and phloem are two vascular tissues found in plant xylem helps to carry minerals and water 
from the roots up to the leaves and in the opposite direction phloem helps to carry the food from leaves to different parts of the plant so here xylem helps in transportation of water as it will be xylem and stomata is a hole that is found in the epidermal region of leaves i mean the margin of leaves and these stomata are the structures which helps in exchange of gases you know while photosynthesis plants receive carbon dioxide and leaves oxygen to the surrounding and during night while there is no photosynthesis plants take oxygen like us and they also leave carbon dioxide during night time because during night time there is no sunlight and there is no photosynthesis okay so at that time during day time night time both the time stomata are the structural structures that helps in gas exchange okay so your answer will be xylem xylem is trans used xylem is helps in transportation of water which of the following is not a part of human excretory system ureter kidney lungs urethra answer will be lungs lungs is a part of a respiratory system not excretory system number of ureter 2 number of kidney 2 number of urethra 1 number of lungs 2 fishes excrete wastes in the form of ammonia because fishes are aquatic organisms all aquatic animals excrete ammonia okay as a waste and uric acid is excreted by reptiles birds and insects and urea is excreted by all the mammals mammals means those who feed milk to their baby humans tiger cow all the mammals excrete urea so your answer will be ammonia all aquatic animals those who live in water they excrete ammonia now we will come to section b section b carries six questions each question carries two marks okay so first question is question number 13 what is the main difference between sexual and asexual reproduction so here the answer will be asexual reproduction requires only one parent but sexual reproduction requires a male and a female parent in asexual reproduction daughter cells form are identical to parents and to each other but in sexual reproduction newly formed offsprings so variations in comparison to the parents that means they show variation among themselves also and also to their parents and in asexual reproduction special reproductive organs are not required but in sexual reproduction special reproductive organs are required in case of yeast rose jasmine asexual reproduction takes place in case of insects animals human beings sexual reproduction takes place next question is identify the type of motion in each of the following first motion of a hammer in an electric bell so this is example of oscillatory motion then motion of a mosquito in a room this is random motion this is random motion motion of a train on a straight bridge this is straight line motion okay motion of pedals of a moving bicycle is your circular motion next question number 15 an electrician wants to replace a fuse by a piece of wire during repairing work in our house would you agree yes or no an electrician wants to replace a fuse by a piece of wire during repairing work in our house would you agree yes or no give reason for your response here we should not be agree no the electrician should not be allowed to replace the fuse in the house with a piece of wire why this is because every wire cannot be used as a fused filament a fused filament must have a low melting point such that it could melt and break in response to a large amount of current when there is will be flow of large amount of current if the melting point of the fused element is less then that will melt that will break the response of flow of electricity okay so we can't replace a fuse wire by a ordinary wire okay next is 
explain how forest pre prevent fruits so this is a question carrying two internal choices you can write any one of them explain how forest prevent fruit so answer to this question will be plants in the forest will not allow the rainwater to fall directly on the earth and these plants also hold water which helps in preventing fruits next is list four products we get from forest okay the five product we get from forest here are five product you can write any four medicines spices wood pepper gum okay so th there are two questions you can write any one next is identify water borne diseases from the following here the water borne diseases are first one is your cholera then typhoid also then your hepatitis then dysentery these four are water borne diseases water borne disease means this disease spread in water contaminated water okay next is name the seven colors of white light you know what are the seven colors of white light red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet these colors you can see in a rainbow also right so these are the seven colors of white light okay, if you mix mix all these seven colors then you will find what color white color right next is question uh, section c it carries four questions and each question carries three mark total mark 12. first is match the items in column a with those in column b first one is si unit of time si unit of time is your second a device in which falling sand is used as timing device this is called your sand clock the ratio between the distance covered and time taken ratio between distance covered and time taken will be your speed speed equal to distance by time time taken to complete the oscillation by a simple pendulum is called your time period device used to measure the speed of a vehicle is speedometer a device in which a pendulum is used as timing device this is your wall clock next question number 20 state three characteristics of image found by a plane mirror you know plane mirror is used in your home okay usually use plane mirror in our home so what are the characteristics of the image that is formed in a plane mirror so these are image distance and object distance are equal that means the distance of image from the mirror and the distance of object from the mirror will be equal then the size of the object and image are equal size of the object and size of the image are equal the image formed is erect and virtual and images are laterally inverted that means you can see in your plan in a plan mirror your house your left hand will be visible as your right hand and your right hand will be visible as your left hand this is called laterally inverted laterally inverted next is what are decomposers name any two of them why are they important to the environment the answer will be the microorganisms which convert dead plants and animals to humans sorry to humus are known as decomposers for example bacteria and fungi are the examples of decomposers they help in the recycling of recycling of nutrients by decomposing dead plants and animals next question is give reasons for the following okay here are two questions internal choices you can write any one so first number uh, give reason for the following a fats and oils should not be released in the drain why oils and fats should not be released into the drain because drains get blocked by cooking oils and fats next is untreated human excreta is a health hazard why untreated human excreta is a health hazard because it consists of various disease causing microorganisms and pollutants that will contaminate the soil and water resource from where people draw water for drinking and domestic domestic purposes when people use water contaminated with human excreta they get diseases like cholera typhoid polio bedding it is hepatitis dysentery these are called waterborne diseases so untreated human excreta is a health hazard next you can write otherwise these two questions you can write out of these four questions first two questions you can write otherwise second two questions also you can write explain the relationship between sanitation and disease you know sanitation 
sanitation and disease are interrelated as lack of sanitation leads to illness and good sanitation practice prevent diseases that means keeps away from diseases okay name two chemicals used to dis uh, disinfect water chlorine and ozone chlorine and ozone are used to disinfect water next is section d it carries 24 marks four questions each question carries six marks first question question number 23 observe the diagram of a flower and level any six level any six parts okay you have to level any six parts so a this part is called your ovule then b this one this one is called your ovary this one is called your ovary that means inside ovary there is ovule okay then c this one this one is called your style this one is called your style then d this one is called stigma okay style and stigma style stigma and ovary commonly they are called carpel right commonly they are called carpel here the question is not asked i am telling just okay then e this one e means here to here so this one is called a scarpel yes i was uh, telling this thing so uh, stigma style and ovary together they constitute the carpel so e is your carpel okay, e is your carpel then f this one this one is called anther this one is called anther and g this one this one is called stamen this one is called stamen then h this one this one is called your filament this one is anther this one is filament together anther and filament constitute stamen okay then i this one this one is called your sepal this one is called your sepal here is a sepal also here is also sepal here is also sepal then this one is called this one are these are called petals these are called petals okay we can see the picture i will show you here this is a picture of a flower you can see here this is your ovary okay this one is ovary and the structure inside the ovary is called ovule okay this is the stem okay and this is sepal okay and this is stamen so stamen constitutes of uh, anther and filament anther and filament both together they constitute stamen and this one is these are pollen pollens okay and this one is stigma this one is style this one is ovary stigma style and ovary together they constitute carpel and these are petals okay so these are the different parts of a flower next is spherical mirrors a spherical mirror is a mirror whose reflecting surface is the part of a hollow sphere of glass the inside surface of the hollow sphere is bent in or concave but the outside surface of the hollow sphere of glass is bulging out or convex so spherical mirrors are of two types concave mirror in which reflection of light takes place at the concave surface or bent in surface convex mirror in which reflection of light takes place at the convex surface bulging out surface this is your concave mirror and this is your convex mirror okay this is bulging out convex mirror and this is bent in that is your concave mirror okay answer the following questions okay with the help of a diagram differentiate between a concave and convex mirror so you can write you can see here this is your concave mirror curves inward and this is convex curves outward in concave mirror middle thinner than edges middle is thinner than edges and in convex middle is thicker than edges we can write the difference any two two three differences you can write convex mirror is a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is away from the center of the sphere of the which mirror is applied concave mirror is a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is towards the center of the sphere of which the mirror is apart because concave mirror is curves inward the curves are inward and in cor uh, in convex mirror the curves are outward right the focus lies behind the mirror here in concave mirror the focus lies in front of the mirror about focus you will study in your higher classes okay next is convex mirror is known as a diverging mirror 
concave mirror is known as a converging mirror. Why? We will see. Okay. Later. This is the shape of convex mirror. This is the shape of concave mirror. Convex mirror always form a real, inverted and diminished image. Concave mirror form different types of images depends on the position of the object. Okay. Concave mirror is called your conver gent converging mirror, concave mirror because it converges the light rays incident on it. Okay. And convex mirror diverges the light rays. So it is your what we call diverging mirror. Okay. Its bulging surface is silver coated and inner surface reflecting. In, in case of concave mirror, its bulging surface is silver coated. Here, this is bulging surface which is silver coated, and the inside this one is your inner surface which reflects. Okay. In and in convex mirror, this one bulging surface is reflecting. Here, bulging surface is reflecting, and the inner surface is coated. Okay. The image form will be real in case of concave mirror. The image form will be real or virtual depending upon the distance of object from the mirror. In case of convex mirror, always image will be virtual in respect of the distance of, of object from the mirror. Always the image will be virtual. Okay, real and virtual image you know. A real image and virtual image. Okay, we will study in higher classes what is real image and what is virtual image. That you can hold, okay. That is called real image, uh, and which you cannot hold, that is called virtual image. We will study in higher classes. Then the image formed may be diminished of same size or magnified depending on position of object in case of concave mirror. But in convex mirror, the image is always diminished for all the positions of the object. Next is your name the type of spherical mirror used as saving mirror. Saving mirror is your concave mirror because concave mirror in concave mirror we find the image in magnified okay and in while saving we need the magnified to see the magnified portion of our six okay in order to save so we need concave mirror but the security mirrors in shops are your convex mirrors okay because they will provide diminished image and they will cover more area right in the view then which type of spherical mirror is used as a rear view mirror in vehicles and why in case of real view rear view images uh, mirrors also convex mirrors are used this is because they give an erect virtual full size diminished image of distance object with a wider field of view why wider field of view because the images are diminished as the images are diminished diminished means small size so it will cover a wider field it will cover a wider area that's why we use a convex mirror in case of rear view mirrors of motor vehicles okay next is your uh, circuit diagram observe the diagram and answer the following questions here you can observe this is a circuit okay draw the symbols of the following electrical components a battery of three cells switch open you can draw like this a battery of three cells this is one cell this is two cell and this is three cell Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Three cells are here. Okay. And a switch open. This is uh, your switch open. And the first one is switch closed here. Closed. And here the switch is open. Okay. You, you need to draw this one. Switch open. Okay. Next is what is an electric circuit? Write the full form of LED. You know, full form of LED is a light emitting diode. And what is electric circuit? Electric circuit is a closed loop or path that forms a network of electrical components where electrons can flow okay then draw a circuit diagram using symbols which includes the following a cell a bulb and a closure switch okay you can draw circuit diagram like this okay this is your wire this is the cell positive end negative end this is the wire this is the switch your switch is closed and this is the bulb okay switch is closed so the bulb is glowing if the switch will open then the blob will not glow okay next speed we need two things to find the speed of a moving object distance covered by the object okay and the time taken to cover the distance so we can determine the speed of an object if we can measure the distance covered and the time taken by it to cover the distance the unit of speed depends on the unit of distance and the unit of time usually 
an instrument on a vehicle's dashboard which indicates the speed of the vehicle when it is running it's called speedometer you can find in the motorbike okay the car's speedometer is there there is another instrument called the odometer which measures the distance traveled by a vehicle total distance traveled by a vehicle odometer that is also you can find in a bike now answer the question that follow the distance traveled by a car at various time intervals are as follows zero time distance zero meter at two second it uh, it uh, covers 5 meter at uh, four seconds it covers 10 meters at six second it covers 15 like that at eight seconds it covers 20 meter at 10 seconds it covers 25 meter so we can draw a distance time graph like this you can draw at zero second here time in second and here distance in meter this is a distance time graph so when uh, time was 0 second distance covered also was 0 when time was 2 second distance covered was 5 5 meter when time was 4 second distance covered was 10 meter when time was 6 second distance covered was 15 meter when time was 8 second distance covered was 20 meter when time was 10 second distance covered was 25 meter so you can see here the graph is a straight line it means uh, the speed is increasing sorry i mean uniform motion okay constantly uh, what we call the vehicle i mean the car is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time so the graph is a straight line here okay distance time graph next uh, falcon is a bird which flies with a maximum speed of 180 km per hour that means in 1 hour it covers 180 km calculate its speed in meter per second that means in 1 second how many meters it will cover also find the distance it will cover in half an hour so first we will see maximum speed of falcon bird is 180 km per hour that means it covers 180 km in an hour in an hour in a single hour it covers 180 km so in half an hour it will cover 90 km in here is a question find the distance it will cover in half an hour so if in one hour it covers 180 km then in half an hour it will cover half of 180 that is 90 km then we will come to question number 1 uh, that is calculate its speed in meter per second that means how many meters it will cover in one second its speed in meter per second is you have to convert kilometer to meter and hour to second so 180 kilometer equal to 180000 meter because 1000 sorry uh, yes 1000 meter equal to 1 kilometer i mean 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter so 180 kilometer equal to 180 into 1000 so 180000 meter then 1 hour equal to 3600 second so here you will simplify then you will get 50 meter per second that means in 1 second it will cover 50 meter okay the next is a sprinter attains sprinter means fast runner attains a maximum speed of 10 meter per second that means in 1 second it covers 10 meter what will his speed be in kilometer per hour that means in 1 hour it will cover how how many kilometer calculate the time taken by him to cover 1000 meter that is 1 kilometer so we will see maximum speed of the sprinter is 10 meter per second that means it takes 1 second to cover 10 meter to cover 10 meter it, it takes only 1 second so to cover 1000 meter that is the second question okay calculate the time taken by him to cover 1000 meter so to cover 10 meter it takes 1 second okay so to cover 1000 meter it will take 1000 divided by 10 because in 1 second it covers 10 meter so to cover 1000 meter it will take 1000 divided by 10 equal to 100 second okay its speed in kilometer per hour will be 36 kilometer per hour how in 1 second it covers 10 meter so in 1 hour it will cover 10 into 3600 because 1 hour equal to 3600 second so if in 1 second it covers 10 meter then in 1 hour that means 3600 second it will cover 3600 into 10 that will be your 36000 meter and 1000 meter equal to 1 kilometer so 
meter will be 36 kilometer so it it will cover 36 kilometer in a single hour that means in an hour it will cover 36 kilometer so speed is in kilometer per hour it will be 36 kilometer per hour great so i think you might have understood the answer sheet of the question paper i think you have done also great you have written very nicely in your exam so i wish you all the best for your upcoming result thank you for watching the video keep learning keep growing thank you